So this is my game review of um, the video game called uh, GoldenEye from uh, 1997, uh, based on the movie with the same name from 1995 in the James Bond uh, uh, movie series. Uh, this is honestly a very good game, but uh, it has dated in terms of um, um, how to say it. Uh, this is some, this is like a game you won't truly appreciate until you get to the end of it. Like uh, I don't mean playing regularly. I mean like uh, you know struggling like crazy and just uh, uh, just just see sort of uh, um, how to say it. Um, the, the thing is. It, uh, like I can take one example of a level. If you play the archive levels, archives, a level called archives, uh, that's like uh, two on two of what a uh, example of a uh, first-person shooter looked like. Like you shoot, you hide. You shoot, you hide. Like this is like the perfect example of what, in my view, a good. Um, uh, FPS looks like you know you cover and you shoot uh, enemies like in the sense of uh, how the uh, the objects and the obstacles exists uh, of making a very exciting first person shooter. Um, uh, now there's a mixed feelings like some aren't a huge fan of uh, first person shooters in terms of that, uh, but this in a sense pioneered some of the stuff that first person shooters will be known for. So I do think this is a good game, um, and I, I do also do think this has like a, a charm to it, with how it's presented. But it's uh, dated for sure. Like I think, for example, if you think Age is on the Fire, in my view, like, like looks better, and it's a uh, kind of um, it's 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 a, a sort of more like a golden eye with better graphics. But uh, but no, but there there has been like been no game like Golden Eye. Goldeneye in terms of the 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 the, the James Bond series, like uh, this in a sense, it, it it's almost more like its own series now, uh, or its own brand. Like this used to be James Bond, now it's Goldeneye. Like it's um, it's just insane how ambitious this game was and how what it influenced. Uh, uh, and, and and it's also a super cool reward if you are patient enough because some of those uh, difficult missions are just are are honestly just a pain in the ass to do. So I wouldn't recommend it if you want don't want a headache. But uh, uh, but you know it it is super rewarding once you get it because you get this double uh, seven difficulty, which is basically just you tweaking the game to be uh, how you want it to. Like. Uh, you can, for example, tweak it, tweak it so that you can be invincible. Maybe outside the fire crates because uh, uh, the fire crates will uh, probably uh, it. I think it drains like half your health or something. But it did to me. But uh, but you know, like you can tweak it so that you won't get killed, and you could just karate chop every guard uh, if you put their health to zero or something. It's just super funny. Like it, it's it is really rewarding, and it's it just. Uh, tells how much uh, ambitious this this game is. Like, uh, and I'm I'm talking about someone who liked playing this with friends on multiplayer. Like that was really why this game was uh, so popular back then. Was because people just like to hang out, hang with friends, and just uh, chill. Like this, in a sense, I, I think the best way I can describe it is uh, uh, to now people see this as a dated first person shooter or revolutionary ideas. But people back then saw this game as an actual luxury to have. If you have the, had like a Nintendo 64, this wasn't just any game. This was the game. Like this was something you had, something that you actually like spent time with. Like this, this in a sense isn't just any game. This is like the game. Like I think that's the best way I can describe Goldeneye. Like this was something to look forward to like i mean I, i'm not saying that people just buy and throw games in the trash but 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 if you want like an example of a game that people just really bought it for the sense of uh of convenience and just uh playing it sometimes and just uh, really be glad that they had it. Like I think Goldeneye is just the uh, the game that I'm thinking of when it comes to Nintendo 64. So so I played this on Xbox Series X, and um, uh, you know because I I have that one console. Uh, and yeah, it's it still is good. 
it's not amazing. It's not bad. It's just good. Uh, I think it's, uh, in my view, it's a 7 out of 10, 10 game. Uh, in terms of uh, how I view it now, um, maybe I would have viewed it, viewed it more differently if I... You know, if I analyzed it back then in 1997, but uh, no, I had fun playing with the friends, and uh, it's it's a good game. Um, and it, but yeah, it should get credit for revolutionizing some stuff. Even though I, I guess I'm more into other type of uh, first person shooter normally than fast paced shoot and dock and such. But they are exciting, so I get uh, the the idea. You know, I I do think it should be credited for what it did. That's what I'm saying. It's uh, all. And um, and and reality, it just has lots of to offer for sh- such a basic idea of first person shooter. Uh, I guess if uh, I guess in terms of James Bond preference, this is not my favorite James Bond game. I would say Tomorrow Never Dies on PS One is more my thing, but uh, people may absolutely disagree me on there. For example, the fact that you can have multiplayer is uh, a good reason to have a uh, Golden Eye, but. Uh, uh, depending on if you can even play this online, that's a better question. I mean, you probably can be friends though, but you know. Uh, but yeah, it, it's both bottom line a very good game. Uh, it's it's something that I do recommend if you are a hardcore fan of uh, wanting to rediscover what made first person shooter the way they are uh, compared to Doom or um, or Quake, which was different. But this was a sort of almost uh, pinpointing it on the map in a lots of ways. So I would recommend it if you want to learn some history of that. Uh, or if you just are nostalgic, or if you are... Or if you want to experience some of the stuff. Like the music, for example, I think it's very... Uh, makes the game in a lots of ways. Uh, very... Uh, even if you don't like it, it, the music is good, is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, it's a good game. I think it's a good game still. It's... Uh, it's definitely not um, better than all other James Bond games in my view, but it's a good game. 7 out of 10 is my rating. So yeah, thank you for listening and bye.